guiding principle of the RAMP project is that everyone's access modifications depend on that person's situation. Ramps and stairs are tools for access to homes, and each person will have unique needs. The module style of construction used by the RAMP project makes it easy to build structure that will meet someone's personal needs and abilities. Here are some of the people talking about their experience. Shortly after coming home from the hospital, uh, after my spinal cord injury, we needed a way for me to get into the house. We had some volunteers that were kind enough to uh, offer their time and materials. Unfortunately, their, their ramp was well-intentioned, but not, uh, not the way it should be. They used a lot of plywood. Um, the, the slope of the ramp was too steep. It, uh, it wasn't something that I was going to be able to use or use well. It wasn't a landing that was big enough. I was absolutely beside myself. You know, here we you know, got these people to help us. They donated like 800 some dollars for all the materials and it didn't do what we wanted it to do. Once we realized that the ramp wasn't going to work, that's when the ramp project stepped in and, uh, and really, really saved us. We had someone come out and, and survey our, our property, uh, decide what, what type of ramp we were going to need, how long it was supposed to be, how steep it was supposed to be, what would work best for us and, and best for me so that I could use the ramp and do the things that I needed to do exiting my house, entering my house independently, which is something I, I couldn't do before with the, uh, the ramp that the volunteers built us. Gabriella's condition is such that she'll never be able to power the wheelchair herself. She uh, will not really have the motor skills to do that, and so she'll always have somebody pushing a wheelchair. When we were first looking at the options for how to, how to develop a ramp or steps out here, we we, can, we looked at um, what Gabriella's specific needs were. Basically, we needed a way to get out the door, down to the curb for buses or for our van. We didn't need necessarily a ramp. Um, the steps would work because Gabriella would always have someone assisting her in her wheelchair. We needed something that, that would be safe in the snow and the ice, not only for Gabriella, but for whoever was pushing her. So when we, when we considered these steps, we, we looked at the factors that we needed for, to get Gabrielle out there, and the steps worked for us. Um, if she were you know, able to uh, run her own wheelchair, it would not have been a good solution for us. But the fact that she has someone helping her works really well. The long tread, low riser steps are not appropriate for someone using a wheelchair independently. Always consider the abilities of the person and use the modification that allows as much independence as possible.